Dear students, in today's module, we will discuss logic operators. As you know that arithmetic logic unit performs variety of operations. For example, arithmetic operators, uh, logic operators, and using shift operators. We have already learned about arithmetic operators. However, in today's module, we will be mainly focusing logic operators. So, logic operators which are available in computer are bitwise operators like AND or exclusive OR. Such operators were slightly discussed in one of the module, but we did not have enough examples and we were not able to see that where actually in reality they are being used within the computer. So today we will having a small revision of these modules. So for example, if there is an AND operator, you know, that we have two bit patterns 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 and we have 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 so you know the logical AND gate performs whenever we have two bits 1 then it will give you 1 otherwise it gives you 0 and similarly you might recall that the OR operation was if we have similar bit pattern so this will give you 1 when any of the input is 1 or both of the inputs are 1 but it will give 0 when both of the inputs are 0 and then there was exclusive OR and this exclusive OR was giving you the value So, if any of the inputs are 1, it is giving you 1, but for both of the inputs are 1, it is giving 0, or both of the inputs are 0, it is giving 0. So, today, after revising these concepts, we will apply these concepts in real examples. So, let's see, we have... So let's see how these uh, operators can be performed in real examples. For example, there is one uh, situation that you want to place zeros in one part of the bit pattern while not changing the others. So for example, you have a bit pattern like 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. And you want to place zeros, for example, to these four bit patterns while you don't want to change these four patterns so what you can do is you can put an AND with a number that is 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 so let's see the answer so 1 1 would be 1 1 1 would be 1 1 0 would be 0 1 0 would be 0 and all of these bits would be 0. So you have seen that this was the actual number and we have changed the first 4 bits of this number to 0 while the next 4 bits remained unchanged. So such a situation we need when for example we want to eliminate red from the RGB. So you know in RGB we have three bytes. One byte is, is reserved for red color, one is for green color and another is for blue color. So if we can, if we want to eliminate the red, we can perform such a uh, technique which we have done here by putting all of the zeros in the red column and one to the all of next columns. So such a technique is basically called masking. So, we can also perform such things in like there are 16 bits showing the availability of ice cream flavors. So, for example, we can make it a little bit smaller example of 8 bits like we say 1010110012345678. So, for example, suppose this is an, these are the 8 bits which are representing 
which flavor of ice cream is available at the moment so one is showing that this is available zero is showing that this is not available so this is available this is not available and so on so suppose our first four flavors are actually finishing so then you will be ending it with 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 so this would make these four uh, initial four bits as zero and the next four bit will remain unchanged as it was in the question and similarly when you want to find out whether particular flavor of ice cream is available or not so you can also check by ending it with one so for example we have one zero one one zero 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 one one two three four five six seven eight and we want to check whether this kind of flavor is available or not so you can end it with one zero 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 so you would see that on this fifth bit from left side it will be one only when there is a flavor available otherwise it will be giving you zero and then for example when to use or so putting one at designated bits in the bit pattern without changing the remaining so you can do it using an or operator and similarly you can use such a mask using and to make sure that third bit becomes zero because other are one and they will not change the remaining bits of the input and similarly you can use this mask to actually uh, make it sure that the third bit becomes one and other bits remain unzero. So let's see, for example, you have a bit pattern one zero zero one zero 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 three four five six seven eight. So for example, we want to make this bit as one. So you can put one other zeros and you can perform R operator. So you know it will become one and others will remain unchanged whatever it was in the actually available in the input and there is a very interesting uh, concept for xor so xor can complement a bit pattern uh, straight away so for example if you have a bit pattern 01 10 0, 0, 1 so you want to complement it you want to make zeros as one and ones as zero you can simply xor it with one 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 so let's see what would be the output of exclusive or so you know it gives zero on the same bits and one on the different bits so you can see the actual input which we have given has been totally changed complemented all of the zeros have been changed into one and all of the ones have been changed into zero so such technique you can use to invert the images so for example if you invert the image you want to make black into white and white into black then you can use such an exclusive or operation so if we conclude today's module we have learned interesting examples that how logic operators and or exclusive or actually can help us to solve real problems in computer science.